Buffett. Um, my name is Hutch Vernon. I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, I know that you read lots and lots of annual reports, and uh, I'm curious what you are reading for, if you would share that with us. But I'm more curious, because I think I know what you're reading for, uh, if there are any disclosures, uh, any further disclosures that you would like to see companies make in their financial reporting or that the SEC require in uh, financial reporting or proxies or other communications with mm. their shareholders. And that would be for both uh, you and for Mr. Munger. Yeah, the main thing uh, that they can't mandate in annual reports, and I really like to have, I, I like to know as much as I can about the person that's running it and how they think about the business and what's really going on in the business. In other words, I, I would like to have uh, a report that would be identical uh, to what if I owned half of a company but was away for a year and I had a partner who owned the other half, what, when I came back that he would tell me about what had taken place during the past year and what he foresaw coming up and all of that. I, I, that is what I think the purpose of the report is. Now, the SEC mandates a lot of information, and, and, and some of that is, is helpful. Uh, uh, but there's an intent behind the report. I mean, if it's a sales document, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm less interested. I'm, uh, and uh, I don't see any way to mandate uh, what I'm talking about. But that's the kind of report I'm looking for. What I'm trying to do as I read reports a, I, I like to understand just generally what's going on in all kinds of businesses. If we own stock in, in a company in an industry and there are eight other companies that are in the same industry, I, I want to own or be on the mailing list for the reports for the other eight because I can't understand how my company is doing unless I understand what the other eight are doing. I, I, I want to have the perspective of in terms of market share or what's going on in the business or their margins or the trend of margins or all kinds of things that I can't get unless I know I can't be an intelligent owner of a business unless I know what all the other businesses in that in that industry are doing and so I try to get that information out of a report if I'm thinking about investing in a specific company I try to size up their business and the people that that, that are that are that are running it and over the years I, uh, I found uh, reading a lot of reports to be quite useful in terms of making business decisions at, at Berkshire. If we own a whole of a business, I want to own shares in, in, in all of the competitors just to keep, keep track of what's going on. And I want to be able to intelligently evaluate how our managers are doing that. And I can't do that unless I know the industry backdrop against, uh, against which they're working. Uh, uh, it's amazing. Uh, you know what? How well you can do in 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 invest in investing really with what I would call outside information. I find inside information. I'm not sure how useful that is, but but outside information. Uh, there's all kinds of information around uh, as to as to businesses, and you don't have to you don't have to understand all of them. And you just have to understand the ones that you're thinking about getting in, and and you can do it if you just. But you, nobody will do it for you. You can't read. In my view, you can't read Wall Street reports and get anything out of them. You have to do it yourself and, and, and uh, get your arms around it. I, I, I don't think we've ever gotten an idea you know, in 40 years from a, from a Wall Street report, but, but we've gotten a lot of ideas from annual reports. Charlie? What I find is that it takes a long time to read the annual report, even if it's a comparatively simple business. As if you really are trying to understand it, it's not a bit easy. Yeah, I would say that on average in a business we're really interested in, even though we know what to skip to some extent what to read, I mean, it, it's going to be f 45 minutes or an hour on a report, and if there are six or eight companies in the industry, that's going to be six or eight hours perhaps, and, and then there are quarterlies and a lot of other. I mean, it, the way you learn about businesses is by absorbing information about them, thinking it, deciding what counts and what doesn't count, relating one thing to another, and... Uh, you know, that's, that's the job. At, uh, uh, and you can't get that by looking at a bunch of little numbers on a chart bobbing up and down about a, you know, or, 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 or reading, uh, you know, market commentary and periodicals or anything of the sort. That just won't do it. it uh, you've got to understand the businesses. That's where it all begins and ends.